Welcome to the newest build of Unfolding Engine. Sorry this took a long time to make, I've been adding a lot more features than usual, so I got a lot to unpack to this update. First things first is that the new GUI system has now been expanded to support higher resolutions. This includes common problems that people were having such as the text being too small, as well as having it so that it makes use of bigger monitors now. This may be a bit buggy as I'm still working out the quirks with so many different resolutions, especially the widescreen community, where they have the huge resolutions that I don't have one in the home for testing. I'll need a lot of help with this in terms of whether or not it works with your monitor and I'd love to know what type of errors you get. The dialog mega has been expanded as well. Later on, it's going to have a lot more features that allow for a higher sophisticated scripting language as well as um, text-based dialog system. At the moment it isn't filled up, but later on it gives you the possibilities of how sophisticated this engine will get. As well as this, the top-down mode has been now applied into the engine as well, allowing for games that require the top-down perspective to be able to be produced. You can notice you can do it as a combination, having some areas be top-down and some, being, some other ones being platform, allowing you to do a multiple, a mixed media type approach to your game. As well as this, camera or parallaxes are now independent from the GUI system, allowing for different perspectives to be fully expressed without the distracting use of the windows just getting distorted as well. The windows distortion was a common problem that required a complete rewrite of the GUI system in order to stop it from distorting and stretching, and the effect looks far more convincing now. The new GUI system has also been applied to so many windows I've even lost count of where the changes have happened. One of the features is the new sound menu for instance which allows for the addition of sounds to be added in as well as the a much easier way for to locate the sounds within the engine itself as well as this volumic fog lighting has been applied as well allowing for a more three-dimensional look to your game i've been debating whether or not to have pure lights or volumic a volumic fog based lighting it's a pseudo effect but it actually creates this effect of 3dness where if you go on one side of the room, the, the lighting creates a kind of three-dimensional perspective that's going out to the center point. You can apply it to different parallax level layers as well in your game as well. And it creates this very nice cloud effect that creates very nice, dense, smoky, atmospheric lights. As well as this, the palette picker has now been expanded to allow more, much more sophistication. As well as this, it has the hue saturation values as well as RGB, which you're kind of used to. You can see in things like the fog cell layer that it's much more easier to use. Overall, this is a huge overhaul of the engine. I'm hoping soon that I'll have the release that will allow you to export your games into your own standalones, allowing you to sell them potentially on Steam or Itch.io. Thanks for the patience, everyone, and thanks for the support as well. It's been a it's been a long drive getting all this ready, and um, I hope that eventually Unfolding Engine will become everything that it's meant to be. It's getting very close now, but it's still a long way to go. If you have any errors, be sure to report them to me or the Discord. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.